dangerous, but they're beautiful. So we have another holiday coming up, yes. St. Patrick's Day, and our good friend Nora Murphy at Nora Murphy's Country Home. She never misses a chance to decorate for a holiday. NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com, absolutely. From the white of winter, we now are going to talk about the green of St. Patrick's Day. I visited her at her house, and she said, I want to show you how to decorate for the St. Patrick's Day. And actually, you can use this all the way into spring, this table nice. set. Nice. Let's take a look. When Irish eyes are smiling, they will certainly smile once they get a look at this beautiful St. Patrick's Day table setting in Nora Murphy's home in Newtown. Nora Murphy, you've done it again. Absolutely gorgeous. How are you? Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. We're here for St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And look at this wonderful table setting that you have constructed. It is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. This is a Murphy table setting. This is a Nora Murphy <laughs> table setting, exactly. I don't know if you remember, we were in here for a New Year's Day celebration. We were. Last year. So, again, it's the same little, we call it the summer room, and this is where we usually entertain. The room is small but charming and filled with so many wonderful ideas on how to set for the perfect St. Patrick's Day meal. What we usually do is we have enough seating in here for eight people, but because this is now set for St. Patrick's Day dinner, and it's for either two couples or four friends, I made it more intimate. I took the two host chairs that we usually use and I pushed them to the side and they kind of disappear against the creamy white walls. Mm -hmm. And then the bench, whoever wants to be toasty by the fire, <laughs> gets the bench. And then I switched out my chairs and I brought in the two big armchairs from the other room and again, it, to really, really support that whole idea of an intimate dinner party. But I like the fact that the candles kind of anchor the tables and they, it brings that closeness together. Yes, and it keeps everything happening just here in the center. So that way too, I'm focusing most of my decorating efforts there. Decorating efforts that have paid off. Let's start from the bottom up. I mean, we're starting with, what is this? Is this a basically a bedspread? It's an old quilt I had found at a flea market. And what's wonderful about it is that you don't have to worry about it. It's already tattered. It already has a little stain on it here and there. Next come the raffia placemats. They look perfect on top of the quilt. The raffia mat is very important too because that kind of uh, separates it and elevates it from the quilt and it makes it very special. Everybody's got their own little place setting. Nora keeps the dishes a simple white. Okay, now you chose to go with a white china pattern. Yes, I wanted to use something that everybody can do and that's doing that mix and match white china. You can get it um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, and what I love is really graduating the scale of the pieces and then bringing different textures in where you have a scalloped edge on your dinner plate. Then this secondary plate, uh, you could use it for salads or it could just be here are your salads and then you lift this off. So I love the piercing and I love that this looks like a little cabbage leaf. That's beautiful. And then speaking of lifting this off, what do we have underneath? I love these. Under here are kitchen towels and I just wanted to show you, I have this whole collection of wonderful kitchen towels that I use as napkins, like always. Isn't that great? What a great idea. Um, they are so forgiving and again, I love that it has a very like homespun kind of a, of a country casual feel. And then you just throw them in the washing machine yeah. after you're done. Yes. The glassware is beautiful. Talk to us about the glassware. You know, lately I've been really into this like vintage etched glassware. So this one I'm using as a water glass and this little pretty is uh, for champagne or for wine. Um, I love that there's flowers. It's a few days we are celebrating uh, the first day of spring. So I feel that bringing a little bit of that botanical essence into here is really great. Candles and hurricane glass anchor both ends of the table and keep things nice and intimate. Yeah, candlelight is so important. And again, I love that these are very simple, modern, clean uh, shapes to the hurricanes. And be sure to fill it with one big fat candle. And what have you done surrounding the candle? Very simply, uh, I went out and I pruned my Andromeda shrubs. Again, it's so simple, just, you know, encircle your hurricane and it, it just reinforces that green. 
and freshness. You don't have to spend any money on flowers. And look around the room. Things have changed on the mantel and on the walls. Just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Nora Irish also, eyes are smiling. Yeah, Nora also uses these baskets to hold her wine, and she brings in a piece of silver from her silver collection just to throw it in casually. It looks so elegant amongst the table. All right, now, if you're interested, the table settings featured in Nora's segment today, is a, it's available for purchase this Saturday. Head to NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com for that and other new offerings. All right, it's time to eat some big donuts. Yeah, today we're making cakes at one of the...